Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all ready to learn something new. Today, we will be learning how to make compound words. So, what are compound words exactly? Compound words are the words which are formed when two or more words are put together to form a new word with a new meaning. Now, there are three types of compound words. Number one, closed compound words. Number two, open compound words. And number three, hyphenated compound words. But today, we will be only dealing with closed and open compound words. So, are you all ready? Let's start with closed compound words. Closed compound words are the words which are formed when two words are joined together and they don't have a space between them. Let's look at an example for a closed compound word, shall we? Here, the word grass plus the word hopper makes the word grasshopper. Do you notice how there is no space between the word grass and the word hopper in the word grasshopper? Well, this is how you write a closed compound word with no space between the two words. Now let's look at what an open compound word is. Open compound words have a space between the words, but when they are read together, a new meaning is formed. So remember, Open compound words have a space between the two words. Let's look at an example for an open compound word. The word ice plus the word cream makes the word ice cream. Now that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Comment below to tell me which flavor of ice cream is your favorite. Do you notice? how there is a space between the word ice and cream in the word ice cream? So this is how you write an open compound word. Good job! Now let's look at more examples. Let's play a mini game, shall we? I will tell you a word and you can think of any other word that we could add with this to create a new compound word. Are you ready? Okay, let's start with fire. What word do you think we can add with the word fire to create a new compound word? All right, I'm going to use the word work to go with the word fire. Which compound word do you think fire plus work makes. That's right. The word fire plus the word work makes the compound word firework. That was really easy, wasn't it? But could you tell me if the compound word firework is an open compound word or a closed compound word? That's right, firework is a closed compound word because there is no space between the two words. All right, let's move on to another example. I'm going to use the word hot. Which other word can you think of to add with this word to create a new compound word? Well, 
I've chosen to use the word dog. So, the word hot plus the word dog makes That's right, it makes the word hot dog. Okay, time for another example. I'm going to use the word pony. Could you tell me another word which I could use with the word pony to create a new compound word? I've chosen to use the word tail. So, could you tell me which word makes pony plus tail? Absolutely right. It makes the word ponytail. Okay, time for another one. I'm going to use the word star. Which word are you going to use? Well, I'm going to use the word fish. So the word star plus the word fish makes it. That's right, it makes the word starfish, which is a closed compound word because there is no gap between the word star and fish. Great job! I had a lot of fun playing this game with you. Now, are you ready for some exercises? So, I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pencil. I've given out a bunch of words on the screen. You can pause the video and try to make as many compound words as you can with the words given. It could be closed compound words or it could be open compound words. But remember, they have to make sense. You can't bring two words together which don't make any sense at all. Are you ready? All right. I hope you had a lot of fun with that exercise. Now, I'm going to list out all the words which I could make. If you've written the same word down, give yourself a point. Are you ready? The first word that I got was iceberg. What does iceberg mean? Well, it's a very large piece of ice floating in the ocean. So, if you also got the word iceberg, give yourself a point. The next word which I got was seawater. Seawater means the water in the sea or the water from the sea. Did you get the same word too? Well, if you did, give yourself another point. All right, the next word which I got was lookout. A lookout is a person who watches an area and warns other if there is danger. This was a little bit of a tricky one, but if you got this word, give yourself a point. The next word is shipwreck. A shipwreck means the destruction of a ship or the sinking of a ship at sea. Did you get this one? If you did, give yourself another point. Great job! I'm having a lot of fun with you guys. The next word which I got was lifeboat. This was an easy word, wasn't it? A lifeboat is a small boat that is carried on a ship used for saving people's lives if the ship sinks. So, if you got lifeboat as well, give yourself another point. The next word is life jacket. A life jacket is something that is worn over your upper body 
like a jacket, which is designed to save you from drowning in water. Do you notice how the word life jacket has a space between the two words? So, does that make life jacket an open compound word or a closed compound word? You let me know. So, if you got the word life jacket, give yourself a point. The next word which I got was outlook. Outlook means the way a person thinks about things. This was a little bit of a tricky one, but if you got this, give yourself two bonus points. Well, that's it for today's lesson. I had a lot of fun playing this game with you. I hope you did too. If you got even more compound words from the list of words that I gave you, then please comment it below so that I can see what they are. Have a good day. Bye-bye.